Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create these kind of effects in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.1, nice. So now let's select everything in this default and by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all, let me import a model here. So go to this file, import. So here I got GLDF. So here you can use any format, either OBJ or FBX. So let me load a character here. So here I got this model from Sketchfab. Download link in the description if you want to use the same. You can use any of the model here. So first of all, in order to make this work properly, first we need to enable add curve that comes with Blender itself. So in order to enable that, go to this edit, preferences, add curve. So by default, this will be unchecked here. Enable it, save those preferences and close. After that, select the model, come to this add curve and select this notch in this we need to select this bounce spline option so here you can see we got some thread likes here curves here so expand these options here so from here we can increase this number of bounces so let me increase this to 3000 here and i want to extrude this thing so i will increase the extrusion value to 0 0.03 so now you can see it is looking like pepper kind of turns here so here you can play with the resolution radius so if i increase the radius here we can turn this into tubes so if i change this to 0.1 this is looking like tubes so depending upon choice you can convert this into tubes or you can leave it like that only so now let me select the exact model here so this is the exact model so press h to hide it so now you can see we got this model turned into paper so now let's see how we can make this animate so for that we need to select this one select the spline come to this spline options here which is object data properties so come to this geometry options here expand this one so here you can see we got this start and end mapping expand this one so here from this we can animate this one so beyond the first frame change this end value to zero and add a keyframe here now move forward like i think 220 frames is fine and change the value to one here and add a keyframe so now if i play this one you can see we'll get our object forming in this kind of scene nice and by the way if you want to make this into tubes we can add this depth value so if i made this point one you can see this is turned into tubes so for now i will keep the depth value to zero only so now let me select this one come to this material options add new material and from here i will select gray color so that it looks gray nice so now let me add a ground plane so go to this add mesh select plane press s and increase the scaling here add a new material to this also and let me change the base color to black and let me come to this render options render viewport currently the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so come to this world properties color add environment texture so here i will load an hdra so we can download free hdras from hdra or polyheaven.com so let me load an hdra here so let me select this heaven. so here i got this hdra so now we can see we got the light in the scene so come to this render properties once again add ambient occlusion and distance let it be 5 enable screen space reflections and refractions also and come to this film so now let me add a light in the scene to get shadows so go to this add light add sunlight here so come to this sunlight properties or light properties here strength i will change this to 10 r and rotate so here you can see we can rotate the light here like this so that we can get the shadows here nice so in this way we can create this kind of effect easily in blender 
so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye